SAS is CSS with superpowers. SAS stands for Syntactically Awesome Style Sheets. It's an extension to CSS that helps to write more organized and flexible styles. There are several reasons why you should be using SAS. Variables. I know that CSS has variables also, but SAS had variables first, and there are several reasons why they are better. One reason is that SAS variables are imperative, which means if you use a variable and then change its value later, the earlier use will stay the same. CSS variables are declarative, which means if you change the value, it will affect both the earlier uses and the later uses. Logic and directives. SAS supports four flow control rules that make it possible to control whether styles get applied or to apply them multiple times with small variations. These are if else, each, for, and while. Also, functions allow you to define complex operations that you can reuse throughout your style sheet. SAS is based on CSS, so there's no need to relearn an entirely new language. You can still write normal CSS and start using features of SAS as you learn them. Modules. You don't have to write all your SAS in a single file. This is a great way to modularize your CSS and help to keep things easier to maintain. The great thing about this is that these files all get compiled into one CSS file in the end. Last but not least, nesting. With SAS, we can nest CSS selectors in a way that is visually easier to consume. But do be careful not to overly nest rules. This will result in overqualified CSS that could prove hard to maintain and is generally considered bad practice. To give your CSS superpowers, check out my full SAS tutorial.